style video going up. Yep. And these kids are getting hundreds of thousands of followers basically lip syncing songs on musically yeah you yeah. know it's it's not that hard of a <laughs> connection yeah it, make, it's but. it's it's a different sort of like hype like and i started recording because this is going to be interesting what i'm going to say i think um and we're talking about popularity on social media right like so years years ago when youtube first came out and there was all those little video sites everywhere you like videos were just about going viral with like your cat fell down the stairs or something right but then people realized it could become a business like it could become your channel and you could become popular and you know many people blew up on youtube especially in the last five years and it became a real thing to become possibly to become a youtuber and it became like an elite few that became like mega youtubers and even me years ago like three years ago when i told people i had fifty thousand subs or whatever i had then i think i had thirty thousand when i said i had thirty thousand subs or whatever you know people would go oh my god like you're crazy like that's amazing like now if i say that to somebody they kind of just go oh it's all right it's pretty good like they don't it's not that crazy anymore but um what's weird is this happens in life all the time so for the last few years i would say the last three years you know five years even maybe you, you know, you talk about guys like Howard Stern who are like calling YouTubers podcasters. Not everybody's a podcaster. It's different. Everyone's, someone's got a vlog. Someone's got a variety show. Someone's got a real show. They edit. Someone's got a podcast, you know? Um, and he talks about them like, ah, oh, they're not real and everybody can do it now and everything. But what I'm starting to see now is now we are seeing everybody do it. I'm seeing just regular people who aren't even, maybe aren't good. You know, you know, like most people like, start somewhere and if they get good or they become pretty interesting they grow a following but what you're seeing with a lot of kids now is everyone has a youtube it's not like it used to be where it was like you know you had a youtube account so you could watch youtube but now it's literally like the whole second grade class the whole fifth grade class they've all created youtubes to be on youtube to upload on youtube it's becoming not just youtube and podcasting and video uh, and and creating a channel it's become that's your social media page like that's your way of interacting with people like you I, I really think especially if youtube starts to expand a little bit and i'm sure there'll be another site like instagram's doing it now obviously like where, where it's really becoming everybody has a video channel so that they can communicate with everybody and create logs and video blogs and whatever and create art and whatever so everybody's going to be doing it so it's going to become less um impressive for less some special yeah it's it's way less special but before there was a chance to interact and, and you know you, you had people interjecting their personality and fe people felt larger than life like real celebrities you look at somebody like a shane dawson but now it's it's you know there's there's hundreds of them so it's not as but meaningful but let me say this let me say this for for the last three years for the last three years people have turned off tv and turned off apps like you know they may not even watch hulu anymore and stuff as much so they might have turned off tv cut the cord on cable or on whatever in tv whatever it is and they've come to youtube but soon when it becomes flooded like it is and everybody becomes a vlogger or a podcaster or a video entertainer or whatever it is or everybody just has their own sort of social media youtube page what's going to happen it is it is going to become less special and what will probably happen in my opinion is that will actually put the focus more on TV again and on independent streaming services like CBS and Netflix and things like that. I really believe that it passes it back and forth because three, five years ago, people thought what people were doing on YouTube was amazing and they were fans of it. But now, and they were leaving TV, but now everybody's on it. Uh, and so it's ri and, and I know that we made fun of YouTube saying it's not really YouTube anymore it's they tube but it is kind of becoming YouTube again in a weird way it's it's bizarre but what but when it becomes less special and everybody does it that will put the focus more on Netflix and Hulu and other places like that again right don't you think it will swing back because people just be like so what you're on YouTube I'm on YouTube everybody's on YouTube but I'm watching NBC right now that's different yeah it's almost going to go full circle i can envision that happening isn't that weird know? like it's so bizarre it is it's really a weird thing to think about. I was, I just clicked in my mind right now. I was like, damn, you know what? Because it, it felt like in 2008 and nine, it, like or, or go back to 2007, like six, seven, eight, when YouTube first started, anybody could upload YouTube videos. It felt like it just felt like anybody uploads YouTube videos, whatever. So you would upload on YouTube, but it was just sort of a junky, whatever personal video website, but, and maybe some videos went viral, but whatever. 
then you would go watch regular TV or Hulu or whatever it is. And then it became something different where be people became celebrities on it and people became massive entertainers on it. But now that I feel like the younger generation, they're all, this has just become part of their daily thing. Like five-year-olds are watching YouTube now and growing up with it. And when they're 12, it's, they already just know it inside out at this point. It's just there. It's just a thing for them to be social on. So, yeah, I, I feel like it could revert to where it's back. It's back again in 08 when anybody could post where, where for like 2013, 14, 15, 16 and 17. It kind of felt like it's it's a special thing to have a lot of subscribers on YouTube, even for 2000 to 3000 subs on YouTube. When I first started watching YouTube. You know, I remember watching channels and I saw people with a thousand subs and I went, oh my God, if only I could have that, that what it, they have a core audience of this thousand people that watch them. This is amazing. I could create my own channel. Maybe I could do that. I don't know. Um, and it just seemed unattainable in a way and you, but you'd give it a try anyhow. And now it just feels like anybody just throw it up and whatever. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't, it doesn't require, you know, there's, it lost that sense of elitism almost. Well, and that kind of moved on elsewhere. You know what what the elite you know needed to be for previously for YouTube now kind of feels that way with Instagram almost. You know yeah. you see the rise in Instagram models, and it was actually really interesting listening to Internet Today before they were talking about how all these different Instagram influencers are you know they're getting hotel stays and vacations and sponsorships and all these deals for free, just offering a bit of exposure. There's that word exposure, and these. Uh, two companies joined forces to create a fake Instagram model and a fake Instagram like travel yeah. account. Yeah. And they showed how they bought some upwards of 50,000 followers in one day. Yeah. And, it, and they paid just a little bit of money. And within two weeks, they were able to go on free vacations. They hired somebody to take pictures. Yeah. And they had sponsored brand deals within two weeks. Yeah, it's crazy. If I was like, if I was ripped and like 21 year old guy and I look good. I'd be on Instagram making just crazy things. Yeah, um, it, that's, it, it, that's it. I will say, though, that Instagram is kind of pigeonholed. Like right now, I feel like Instagram is mostly like very good looking people or makeup people or um, music like, I, uh, and, you know, really that or, or or vlogging. But but really, it's it's about how you look like a lot of people click on people's stuff because, wow, that girl's hot or wow, that guy's hot. So I feel like the value over there is a little bit different. It's a little skewed. It's a little more. um like I don't know, it's it's just a different thing than than YouTube for sure. Like over on YouTube, I could be six hundred pounds, and you know what I mean. What and I could be just I maybe I can't get, even get out of my house, and I could create a YouTube channel, and I could become a popular person. Where on Instagram, it feels like to be popular, you know, you're sort of got to be a beautiful person or something like that. You know? Yeah, it's, it's it's all about vanity and yeah. looks and yeah, and I don't think they've crossed over into that really into that really creative area yet they're really kind of just in this subset of pop culture or so the mt it's the mtv at this point of uh what we do here so i mean there's something for it there's something to say for it but right now it hasn't changed my mind really igtv has been it's been a little interesting that you can upload 10 minute videos but and i do want someone to rival youtube but you know everybody kind of does rival them but in a weird way they've got their own thing like twitch is mostly gaming Unless you have a mega podcast or a mega channel, you really can't take the audience over to Twitch. So it doesn't really help you. Um, it's really pigeonholed as gaming. Instagram, again, is that sort of beauty uh, vlog website at this point. Uh, Facebook is more of your family connections, so it doesn't always translate as well either. It's Even if you get a viral video with 20 million views, like people are less connected to you. YouTube is still the number one place to engage with people. And then you can even turn that into your Patreon, which that becomes your super engaged audience sees you on Patreon. And that's really about it. That's how I've summed it up right now. Where will Amazon come into play when they launch their video app? Um, 